Windows 11 has seen its fair share of controversies in the past year. Things like Copilot and Recall and ads sneaking into the start menu are just a few things that users have been complaining about. Today, I'm not only gonna show you how to shut down Copilot's Recall, if your PC even has it, but I'll also show you some tweaks that you should absolutely be doing to get your laptop ready to DJ. Let's get into it. Microsoft, in its infinite wisdom, added AI features to Windows 11. On some Copilot Plus PCs, there's a feature called Recall. Recall takes on-device snapshots of what you're doing so you can reference it later if you need to. Whack. If you have Recall and you don't want it, this is how you kill it. Go to settings, click on privacy and security, find recall and snapshots, find the toggle that says save snapshots and turn it off. If you don't see recall at all, you're fine. Your PC either doesn't support it or it's already turned off by default. Now it's time to clean up the visual clutter. Windows 11 likes to surface recommendations that are just basically ads. You'll see them in the start menu, the search bar, and at your login screen. And this is how you disable all of it. To get rid of the recommendations in the start menu, do the following. Click on settings, then personalization, then find start and scroll to where it says show recommendations and toggle that off. While you're here, I also turn off recently added apps in the start menu just to give a cleaner look. You don't have to, but I do. Next is getting rid of the recommendations and search highlights. To do that, you're gonna navigate to settings, click on privacy and security, search permissions, and then you're gonna toggle show search highlights to off. Next are lock screen promos. Have you ever logged out of your Windows 11 machine and go to log back in and your lock screen has fun facts of the day or recommended apps? This is how you get rid of it. Go to settings, click personalization, then go to lock screen. Switch background from Windows Spotlight to a picture or a slideshow and uncheck get fun facts, tips, tricks, and more. This will make sure that your lock screen stays nice and decluttered. Now that we've gotten all the distractions out of the way, we can focus on the things that make your music stop musicking. First up, we have the absolute event killer, USB power management. By default, Windows may power down USB hubs to conserve energy. If Windows decides your controller is idle for a split second, there's a chance it could turn that USB port off and bam, your music's disconnected. Nobody wants that. Ain't nobody got time for that. And I'm gonna show you how to turn that off. First, you're gonna right click on the start menu. Then you're gonna click on device manager. Find your universal serial bus controllers and expand them. For every USB root hub and generic USB hub, right click, click on properties, click on power management, uncheck allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. Do it for each and every hub to make sure that your gear stays connected. Next up is power plans because the last thing you want is for your computer to slow down in the middle of your event. To change your power plan, you're gonna to go to your search bar and type in control panel. When you do, you'll see the option to open control panel. Click on it. In the top right hand corner, you're gonna see a button that says categories. Click that, it's a drop down menu. Click on the one that says large icons. Now that you have everything separated, you can scroll down and find the option that says power options. When you open power options, you're gonna see the power plan that your computer is currently on. If you don't see an option for high performance, you might wanna click on the button that says show additional power plans. If you don't have that button and you only have one power plan, there is a document in the description of this video that will show you how to use the command prompt to unlock additional power plans. Go ahead and check that document out so you can unlock your high performance power plan. There are some caveats, so make sure you read that document 100% top to bottom before you do a thing. Once you've selected the high performance power plan, we need to change some settings in the plan to get you the most performance out of your laptop. Keep in mind when you change these settings, you only want to change those settings when the laptop is plugged in. When your laptop is plugged into AC power, it can get full power because it has extra power coming into it from the power supply. How you like the new new? If you do this on battery, you're gonna notice that your battery will dwindle really fast. So when you make these next changes, make sure they are for the AC adapter only. What you're gonna to wanna to do is click on change plan settings. Then you're gonna to go to change advanced power settings. Here, you're gonna click on USB settings and then USB selective suspend. You wanna make sure that's disabled. 
That's double protecting you from the USBs just turning off in the middle of your set. Next, you wanna to go to processor power management. Minimum processor state should be 100% on AC. Leave battery lower to avoid heat when unplugged. Then in processor power management, you wanna to go to maximum processor state and make that 100%. If your system supports ultimate performance, that's awesome. I highly recommend using it, but you have to make sure that your AC adapter is plugged in. If it's not, your laptop is gonna die and it's gonna die fast. The next tip on this list isn't a requirement. You don't have to do this, but if you're noticing you're getting like audio glitches or pops or things just aren't sounding right, then you wanna give this a shot. Basically, what we're gonna do is give the audio drivers a small priority bump so that Windows recognizes them and lets them consume more RAM, more power, so that they can work more efficiently. More power, baby! So, we're gonna change the processor scheduling for drivers, and this is how we do it. Click on Settings, then System, then About. Then, you wanna click on Advanced System Settings, then Performance, Advanced, processor scheduling, then you wanna select background services. It isn't magic, it might not fix it, but it can work. So if you're having audio issues, give it a try. Now it's time to stop Windows from multitasking behind your back. When your computer starts up, some programs are automatically started. This can eat up valuable system resources and you shouldn't have to deal with it. So this is how you disable apps from starting up automatically. You're gonna right click on the start menu and then you're gonna click on task manager. Then you're gonna go to startup apps. Go through those apps. Unless it's your DJ software or a critical driver or utility, right click it and click disable. Do this for Spotify, Steam, OneDrive, anything that you're not gonna use while DJing that could eat up system resources. Next, we're gonna disable background app permissions. To do this, you're gonna click on settings. Navigate to apps, click on installed apps, pick apps you don't need during a gig, go to advanced options, and make sure background apps permissions is turned to never. Next thing on our list of shit we need to kill on Windows 11 is updates. The last thing you want is to be in the middle of an event and for that damn screen to pop up letting you know that Windows has decided that it's ready to update whether you like it or not. So this is how you stay safe from updates during an event. You're gonna click on settings, then click on Windows Update. Go to Advanced Options, and then Active Hours. You wanna make sure it's manual and set something like 5 p.m. to 5 a.m. It could be whatever time you choose. I don't know what time you have events, but like whatever times you think you might be doing an event, like make sure it's set for that. If you wanna be extra careful, you can always pause your updates for an entire week. That way you can go through an entire weekend and not have to worry about it. Next is Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and the DPC latency that both of those radios cause. If you do not need Wi-Fi for streaming or remote control of your DJ software, I highly recommend turning off Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, or at a minimum, putting your laptop into airplane mode. Network adapters are very common DPC latency offenders. The less radios you have on, the less likely you're gonna have crackles in your audio. So if you don't need them, turn off Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, or put your laptop in airplane mode. At the end of the day, Windows 11 is a very powerful software, but the problem is it ships for that office life. PCs are commonly used in business, and that's what most manufacturers focus on when it comes to things like power plans or shutting down USB ports. It's all in the name of balancing power and battery performance. So do yourself a favor, spend 15 minutes to disable ads and AI. Lock down your USB power, Pick the right power plan, prioritize your audio stack, and boom, you've turned a consumer laptop into a performance workstation. Please, don't let a balanced power plan or a surprise update kill your next event. But viewers, I'll leave it to you. Are there any other Windows DJ tweaks that you swear by? Did any of these suggestions help you out with your DJ laptop? Leave it in the comments. As always, if you made it to the end of this video, I'd like to say thank you so much for watching. If you found anything valuable in the content, please subscribe to the channel. We have a bunch of videos going over the tech that we use as DJs with a lot more coming down the pipeline. My name is Seth, AKA DJ Seth V. This is DJ Tech Tips. Thank you for watching and we out.